The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 40, NASDAQ off 19, S&P's flat. Gold contract down $7.10, trading at $12.32 an ounce. We have silver down $0.15, cents, six, $15.65 an ounce. You get uh, light sweet crude down $0.58, cents, $67.49 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10-year note. Down one tick, 120.04.30 a bond, off one, 145.03. King dollar, king dollar up 233 ticks, trading 94.500. The euro is at 116.93 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is at 112.74 to one U.S. dollar. They come out with Powell's remarks. They slammed gold down. I think gold went down to, uh, let's see. Go is, for it. Let's see, GC. And you, you can see when this thing got slammed, folks, that's when the, the release, the, the um, uh, his statement got released. So 12.30. He's going to start talking. Now we're at 12.32. Yeah, I believe he starts talking like right about right now. Yes, 10 yeah. o'clock. He yeah. was waiting for our show. He's okay. waiting for, he was waiting for our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, to come on. Let's see what we got to say. Growl with him, prowl totally. with him. Listen, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, uh, Kevin Hinks and his team. And we got a what trading show. Tomorrow? Fast what money. Tomorrow? Right? Is it fast, fast markets? Fast markets. I, we have fast markets too, man. No doubt about it. Uh, if you haven't test driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of this in the side. Hit the banner, bring it up to allow you to trade with paper money. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You guys are correct. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, Chicago time, that will be 11 o'clock, Florida time. Fast Market, our new show coming out tomorrow. That's awesome, man. I like we get to lead into that. It's, we're gonna be we're gonna be hooping it up, ready for that 11 a.m. Yeah, Eastern well, time start. You know, we have. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't feel like the summer, I can tell you that, man. I think I no. joked last week. You think they'll have anything to talk about on the start of the show? <laughs> seriously, right? yeah. man, seriously. Well, you're right. Earnings season time is causing some movement in these markets. Obviously, um, the Netflix move is substantial because guess what? It's real simple. You can't have a 268 PE and then miss your growth numbers. Right. You know, they are the ultimate growth stock, and as long as they kept that momentum, they had it, right? I mean, as long as they were showing growth. Well, they missed on their growth. I mean, some of the quotes from their, uh, their, their CEO were fairly significant. Strong but not stellar quarter. We over-forecasted both domestic and global. And so he, he kind of said, and here's the other thing. This happened in Netflix yesterday. It happened in Johnson & Johnson today. Currency headwinds. Right? Yes. Used to hearing that statement out of these conference calls, everyone's going to be talking about currency headwinds and the higher dollar affecting the profits of these international, these multinational companies. Yeah. You know what's pretty wild, Kevin, is that um, when I was doing the afternoon show yesterday, the, uh, the option maker move. Yesterday, yeah. uh, they were looking for basically 8% uh, or basically 32 wow. bucks. 29 bucks. Yeah. And you know what's intriguing, though? Inside that whole deal, the average normally for Netflix is 13%, and it was 13. Those are big numbers, <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Isn't that wild, and, though? That Tom, you just made a great point right there that, remember, that number that comes from the market maker move, which may be depressed in the summer months when less people may, may be trading it, that's not the answer to the question, right? Yes. All that is is showing what the option order flow is telling in terms of implied move in of the one day move the answer to the question is when the news comes out and the move happens right you're seeing the answer all that does is give you an indication of what the move is based on the option order flow yes right? the implied volatility you have to decide as an investor is that too low is that too high or is that right on the money and obviously tom the historical move in netflix was not was bigger than the move they were showing, and it went to the historical move. Right. Very 
good point by Tom O'Brien. Well, you know, I got that, though, from, from you and Tom speaking about, I think, about six or eight weeks ago. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. what had happened, you, you guys had bringing it up, and you had basically laid that out just like that, sure. saying, hey, man, you know, remember, this is the move now. And, and I looked at it, and it was hard to comprehend, actually, before yeah. they come out. A 13% move. I agree. E either I'm surprised way. by that. I yeah, am. Like, I, I, yeah. It, was, it was really hard to comprehend. I said, oh, my God. I probably shouldn't be, but I am. No, it's such I, a big I know. number. It I is. know. But guess what, man? You know, and that's what's so cool, really, folks, about the option markets. It, it's, it's amazing to me that you take this big pool, everyone go, jumps in the pool, and the consistency is, is really good. I mean, you know, for, for, for markets. You know, okay, we know nothing is, you know... If you can get over 70%, you're, you're golden, man. Never mind, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it is pretty amazing that those moves basically, you know, I, I guess that's a supply and demand curve, right? That we put all if our brains else, together and Tom, it comes out. If nothing else, Tom and Tommy, the information gained from trading options or monitoring option order flow yes. is vital. Yes. You know, to, to, there's so much, you know, everyone thinks, talks about all the market reflects all current information. Well, not always, but the options market a lot of times gets much closer to having all the information because that shows where the risk is. Is it upside or downside? Things like that. So there's so much information to be gained from monitoring or trading. Yes. Option order flow. Yeah, pretty pretty amazing. So, hey, let's talk about the show tomorrow, of how this yeah. is going to work. Wait, so you and Tom are going to be doing the show, right? It's a one-hour show. Yeah. Tom White and I w will be doing it every day, and there will be a third guest that rotates through, uh, and what we'll do is we're going to be basically talking about real-time yep. trading ideas using paper money. Talking about you know if it you know just using real-time data. Yes. And current events scenario like tomorrow we're going to be talking about we'll we'll, we'll touch on um, Amazon Prime Day. We're going to touch about. Uh, Domino's earnings, and you know, earnings mm. season is such a good time to be talking about this. I know. So we, we just, you know, there's, let's put it this way: every single day, I have one hour to talk about two to three hours of content that I have to talk about. Yeah. So my job is to get that all into one hour. You know, you know what's so cool about this, folks? Okay, is that as Kevin just said, it's not just the, the one hour. You got 30 years of experience that when you're looking at markets, because you got to move fast. Totally. That's the bottom line. Okay, something comes out, you say, okay, what is the scenario? How do I want to do it? Do I want to go bullish, bearish? Do I want to go delta neutral? What kind of strategy I want to use? And that's where I think, you know, it, the, the strategies behind this are going to teach people so much, man, so quick. It's right. pretty, you know. And the pace, everyone get ready, because the pace of this show is going to be a little different than other shows you may have seen on the TD Ameritrade Network. We're going to move fast. They've been warned. The Buckle up. Advanced traders. <laughs> totally. Perfect. Man. So get got, on board. Hang on tight. We got a teaser for We're show one, and we got a warning, too. We're going to hang ready. on for the ride, baby. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Listen, folks, you know, right here, 45 minutes from now, great program. Tomorrow, get ready. Hang on. There we Buckle go. up, baby. Perfect. We'll be watching. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Have me on, guys. Thanks, Thanks so Kevin. much. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, right now up 50, Negative. down 55. Nasdaq off 11. S&P's flat. Coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 46. NASDAQ is up 8. S&Ps are up 1.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute. Daryl Martin, what's going on, brother? Hey, man. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good, man. Morning, Daryl. So, we got lots of action out here. Uh, in, yes. We got, I, I know you always like news events, and of course, uh, the uh, premier news event, uh, well, you get a couple of them. I, Nate, Nate, uh, uh, now, Netflix blew apart, uh, but I guess when we talk in news events as to moving currencies, uh, metals, uh, bottom line is that Powell, Powell just started testifying. Um, he moved that uh, gold market around, that's for sure. He slammed that, that baby down. Um, yeah, going on the market and the economic economy and the policy and everything else, and so, yeah, that's, that's like rocking things. Yes. And, you know, currency-wise, so what have you been looking at out here currency-wise, Daryl? Um, on the currencies, obviously, there's always, you know, quite a bit to check out. Um, this morning, I'm looking specifically, um, you know, obviously, like, you know, pound dollar. There's yep. been a lot of, you know, pound in the news lately with everything going on, pound yen. Um, and also, you know, obviously, looking at gold. You know, I, I consider that just the currency as well in the sense of, you know, how you trade it. So, uh, but gold and oil are going good. Um, ES and NASDAQ are great. And then, um, you know, pound... Uh, wasn't really on the top of my list this morning, just with pal talking. Okay. But uh, but you know, I was more looking over at the gold markets with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, pounds basically been the main currency I've been focusing on over the last you know few weeks with everything going on with Brexit and. Yeah, you know, that now. Brexit. There's no doubt, man. You know, it'd be really wild if that's a wild card, and all of a sudden they say, "Hey, there's no Brexit anymore." They so. got a lot to work out. They I'm do, man. To see what happens. They do. Exactly. Yeah, there's no doubt about yeah, that, man. They underestimated a little bit, you know, so, but the pound is dropping as they're trying to figure it out. And which is remarkable. I was just, not to cut you off, but which is remarkable, right? Because every news report, I feel like, has been always like, oh, well, they're at an impasse, but they just need to negotiate it out. And it's like, but they're at a big impasse in yeah. terms of what that involves. But yeah. go ahead, yeah. It's and, just... you know, it, we've learned that markets, 
and decisions can move pretty quickly. Once you, you know, you think that you're going you're to get a split, and all of a sudden, hey, guess what? There's no more split. Uh, Things get done. Uh, there's going to be another okay. election. Yeah. yeah. It seems like it seems like every few months we have an election in, in Europe. Yeah. I mean, I'm exaggerating a little, but the no, reality they is, they can call an election. Right. It's, it's not, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. They can. Hey, so yeah, your man John Skelton, he's going to be doing a workshop uh, over at Nadex. Can you, you know, uh, it's it's trading key levels with Nadex binaries. Can you tell us about it a little? Yeah, he'll go into you know important levels such as um, you know magnet levels yeah. and you know, like you know like obviously we talk about that a lot. Yes. And uh, how magnets impact the market, and then he'll also go into ice like volume based zone levels. Yeah. Um, just you know the highest points of volume in the previous day and the you know the deviation. And when he's looking of where the volume was in the previous day. Right. You know, and, and inside this webinar, folks, he's, he's going to be identifying key levels, reading the markets, uh, what are auto prints, and he's going to be doing this on the binaries, right? Yeah, he'll get the binaries, and obviously you can apply it to spreads as well. Okay. So nice. and um, he'll, what he'll do is he'll look at those key levels and how the markets are moving between them. Um, and he'll look at, you know, volume accumulation over a trend. And uh, one of the biggest things is how to look at real breakouts versus false breakouts. Okay. Uh, and using volume to help you see what a real breakout is versus a false breakout. Because so many traders get caught in those false breakouts. And, uh, you know, how to trade those breakouts with, uh, you know, binaries. Yeah. So, and, uh, and the biggest thing that we found to help out with that is a simple indicator that we have over at Apex Investing, which is called VAD. Again, it's volume accumulation distribution. And it literally looks at the volume as it's increasing over the course of the trend. And, uh, and you'll, you'll notice whether it's continuing to increase on that breakout or whether it's declining. And uh, if it's declining, then it's just you know, a little you know, pop out and it's going to go right back in. But if it's increasing, then it, that gives us a better probability setup of an actual true breakout. Yeah. You know, last week when the uh, Canadian government came out with that, uh, the, the rate, I don't know if they were rate increase or decrease, but sure, they're that, yeah, they're, that, that Canadian dollar, man, that was some move. First it went down and then it went through the moon. I, I was right. like, yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, you, you talk about volatility. Uh, that's where you get that volatility, uh, no doubt, in spades. And, and that's what happens, folks. Uh, that's inside the Nadex product, okay? Because you get defined risk. There's no way you could have stayed in a um, Forex trade. Oh, you would have got blown no, out. I saw that. You know, right. Leverage leverage wise, you would have got blown out. Because you know? we had talked. Yeah. Um, to a couple people. Are we talking to you about it, Daryl? I know uh, we talked Gail to Mercer. Gail, we're who's coming up at 10.40 yeah, about right. it, and so I was peeking in on your Bloomberg the next day. I said, oh, yeah. man, look at that spike. And then 10 minutes yeah. later, or 15, it was right back to that level. Yeah, It was it was amazing. So actually. just to plug where they can sign up for that, it's over in the Nadex Educational Webinars. You can get there right under Breaking News on TFNN, Nadex Educational Webinars. And then you just scroll down. There's the man, John Skelton. So that is Thursday at 1 o'clock, uh, and you can sign up there. Cool. Nice. So you know, uh, what do you what do you think of the S and P right now? Um, <laughs> well, with industrial production moving, you know, we had a nice move on that this morning. Uh, but I'm, I'm liking the moves today, finally. So yesterday was pretty, you know, boring. Yeah. But uh, today we're getting some nice moves, and uh, you know, I think just you know, the more volatility we can get, especially in the summertime, the better. It's, it's pretty wild how the market just keeps shaking everything off. Yesterday was such a tight trading range. I was looking it was. at the Dow had like 40 points almost, you know, right. outside of a couple small outliers. 40 points for a day in the Dow was that, like, what is that? It? That means Boeing just moved 20 cents. Sure, right. Yeah. Right. Pretty. All the fun was for, for after hours, I guess, with yeah. Netflix rocking. And then, um, yeah. And, you know. Yeah, I mean, Netflix moved everything. Oh. So everything was down. And, you know, the S&P just finally climbed all the way back up and, uh, you know, filled its gap. From this morning, yeah, and and, uh, and something to keep 10, in mind about ten points. It wasn't huge, but at least it was a nice move move up this morning. Sure, not sure. ten points, yeah. And you know, something to keep in mind. Yesterday, we, we were talking about this on the morning show. Yesterday, these volatility trades, folks, inside the um, Nadex platform. That as long as the inside the NDX 100, that baby, you know, that was was a nice deal yesterday because he had the uh nq futures go down 60 points between 4 and 415 yeah yesterday so there's okay. your 405 right. bar from you know high like 73 75 to yep. low of 73 25 and that's just in the five minute you know and there's your 410 bar which is still in play um yes for the 415 expiration right. yeah. and you have you absolutely have to make sure though that they are coming out well first off that it's a large waiting inside the ndx and that they're coming out before 415 yeah you know, yes. but we're going to have a lot of them. Amazon's coming up, Google's coming up, Facebook's coming up. 
Um, bottom yeah, line is that, season, baby. oh, big time. And, you know, what we did have yesterday is that uh, as Netflix come out, it took everything down. The yeah, only thing took, that, that oh, it, it took. It dropped the, like, what, 40, 50 points yesterday, like right in that. Like five, ten minute period? Oh, yeah. It was 60, 63 that points, that? to be exact. 63 points down yeah. before it closed. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, yeah, so was, it's... That was a perfect way to play. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and bottom line is that uh, if you haven't test driven yet the, the product, folks, just come to our website, hit the banner, bring it up. Um, the demo is really important so you can understand how these contracts move and basically how the contracts are set up. You know, I agree. You know, particularly if you're going to be basically, well, it doesn't matter. You, you got to understand the period. You get to learn when things move, right? You do. And, and things you are do. moving on earnings and on, you yeah. know, I keep pulling up the top live with Powell speaking today. You could see some gold spikes throughout the day, depending yeah. on, he might, you know, is he, I'm sure he's going to oh. start taking questions, right? And then yeah. you go beyond the prepared that's, remarks. We'll see what he has to move. say. Daryl, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to uh, look forward to the John's workshop on Thursday. All right. Thank you very much. We'll Thanks, Daryl. Take care, man. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down 33. NASDAQ off five. S&P's up three. Gold. Let's go over to the gold market. So gold's down uh, 10.30. Uh, 13, 12 and 29.50. This is the second time down now. So it got slammed on the 
re release of the uh, remarks. Paul's that, remarks. That yes. was before, you know, he basically has a statement first, okay? Yes. So the statement, when he, when the release statement came out, it looks like gold went from 1239 uh, down to 1230. He did a little counter trend bounce to 1234. Now the test is coming in. So now we'll see how this baby shakes out. The first leg down had uh, 16,000 contracts. Your next leg had nine. So the bottom line is that, meaning this is on a 10 minute bar. So on that aspect, you had the test with lighter volume. Now what you have to do is get back inside 1230. Okay. 1230.20. Uh, we go over to the GDX, we take a look at the GDX, you're going to see the same type of setup inside the GDX, meaning GDX went into its lowest swing point, the lowest swing point being 21.77, we hit 21.67, we look at this intraday, oh, intraday, actually intraday, this is interesting, intraday is pretty good, um, the gold contract went down there, but the GDX hasn't got into those lows yet. That's interesting. Let me see ABX. Who's holding that up? So Barrick's down 17 cents. That's not holding it up. Newmont. Oh, interesting. Newmont's holding it up. And Newmont, let me, I think GDX. I think Newmont turned around and is the largest waiting structure now inside the GDX. It overtook, yeah, it did. It overtook Barrick. Yeah. So Newmont's holding it up. That's, that's good to know. Right. Positive on a day like today for gold? Not bad if you're in a oh. gold mining equity. No, it's, it's yeah. a big deal, man. You know, and the intriguing part, so if you happen to be in the metals market, would you want to keep your eye on these bonds, okay? Because the bottom line is that they can slam gold all the time. It's, it just, it's, it's an easy market to slam up, down. The, see you later. As you compared know. with interest rates, for sure. Exactly, right? right? Now, the rate market is still saying that, guess what? No matter what Powell says, and we'll pull up something while we get the, the live here feed. Yeah. You know, th these rates still want lower price. You know, if, if rates are going to go up dramatically, this 10-year wouldn't be laying out here at 120.03, you know. So let's see, let's see some of the quotes. Sure. That, this is what, yeah. So yeah. on our other screen here, it's kind of keeping one eye on just the top live yeah. feed of, so he is, he's, you know, Powell's taking questions here. And I'm just going to back it up so we can kind of scroll through. Yeah. So some of the headlines, um, let's see. What they're talking about the, the stress test in here as well. And let's see, as Powell talks about this year's stress test, now they're just talking about Deutsche Bank. So here we go. Powell says, the Fed sometimes uses an intermediate sanction rather than an outright failure of the stress test. Um, let's see, we want, we want more than stress. But yeah, stress we, want, we want interest rate policy. Exactly. Right. So here we go. In terms of wages going up 2.7% over the year, which is significantly better than trend inflation. inflation. Yeah. So maybe that's saying they're not as worried about inflation. They might not be jacking up rates so high so quickly. That might be the pullback in gold there, right? If there's a little bit yeah. tentative. Um, yeah, so Brown taking questions about the stress test again, calling out the Fed. Uh, excuse me, Powell is taking questions um, from, must be Congressman Powell, Congresswoman. Um, going easy on Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. The Fed said it would allow them to pass the annual test under the condition that they limit their capital return to previous year's levels despite both banks' capital ratios falling below regulatory minimums. Got to be nice to be a bank, man. Yeah, totally, um, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so this, Powell right now, folks, is in front of the Senate Banking Committee. Is that what he is? So, okay, yeah, so, so, the cool. and so it makes sense that at the beginning, you know, particularly they, they want to know, okay, what is the regulations what, inside the banking structure? Okay. Um, no, it does make more sense because that's know, the panel for sure, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. Uh, He's going to take some more questions about rates for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Because this is his annual. Is this his annual? That's correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. Semi-annual. Semi-annual. Yeah. Okay. Thank so you. if we, uh, we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here uh, inside this market, you get Bank of America up uh, 18 uh, Netflix is down 39. That's quite a comeback for Netflix, too, by it the way. It is quite a comeback. Yeah. It's quite a number for volume, too, when you look at um, it's a $360 stock. So trading almost 800,000 shares, you're talking about some serious value going yep. back we're, and forth. We're, we're, we're already done almost as much as we've done yesterday. 20 million, we did 22 million yesterday. Yeah. And that 22 million, by the way, I didn't look at it at 4 o'clock, but I saw the, the amount of equity that either got sold or bought after the close was huge. Okay. Um, sure. You know, and so what, what we do have, with sticking out like a sore thumb, is 338. 
And we were hit 344. 3, 338, you can see that high volume spike from uh, April 17th. That had uh, 33 million shares. It's probably their last earnings. April, May, June, July. Yeah, it, yeah. it probably is. I'm looking. There's yeah. the last one. Yeah. There's the one before that. Right. I mean, you can, every right. gap is going to, yeah. you know, I just, right. when they line up for the three months, because right. there it is, literally, you go yeah. from January, there's their gap. They used to gap in higher. Yeah. April, and then July. Yeah. And let's go over to Goldman. So Goldman come out with numbers. Goldman's going to, David Solomon's going to be new CEO uh, October 1st. Bottom line, Goldman can't hold price. Uh, it, was, it was higher. It was yeah. 233 this morning. Definitely. You're at 227. Um, numbers, I believe the numbers look pretty good, they too. They were pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. I'll tell you, can I jump? I think I have yeah. the article oh, up, cool. okay. uh, on one of these. Let's see where we are. We were here. Nope, I got a lot of browsers open. Oh, and I just opened one more. There we go. Goldman Sachs. Yeah, so. <laughs> Look at this. Profit jumps 40%. Yeah. Blowing past Wall Street estimates. Strong private equity, but to get down to the numbers, there's, I mean, there's the big number, really. Earnings, 598 versus 466. Yeah. They got to be scratching their heads when the stock's, you know, Barely negative. Why not? You know, revenue big, rose 19 yeah. percent to 9.40 billion. And it's like versus expectation. Yeah. Their expectation was 8.7. You're talking yeah. about almost 700 million dollars extra in revenue over 90 days. Still sold it, right? Yeah. So the firm's investing and lending division, sometimes referred to as the Merchant Bank, posted 23 percent increase in revenue to 1.94 billion, exceeding estimates by almost 300 million in that division alone. Investment banking, 18% more revenue to 2.05, 200% more than expected. I mean, everywhere. Just, you know, I was reading through this earlier. Pretty remarkable in terms of they just kick some butt. And the market's like, okay. And you better pay attention to this, folks, because they, the high volume low on Goldman was 239 or 227. You know, it tested it, basically couldn't hold price. Goldman, the reason I'm saying with, with Goldman in particular is that Goldman rang the bell and the financials at the high, at its own high, meaning that Goldman was the first equity, first financial equity to come off its high and fail. Um, you know, if we took this, uh, watch this, we put this on a monthly, you're going to see it pretty clear, that it had taken its high out from 2007. The 2007 yeah. high was $250. You had volume of 227 million. So if you're watching us on, in, on Tiger TV, folks, the volume characteristic is on the left-hand side when you're watching it. The price is on the left-hand side also, higher. What do we do? We get above that in December of 2016. We stay above it for a full year. Then we, oh, and by the way, when we, when we went above it, we went above it with 96 million shares versus 227. Then what do we do? We come back inside it and you get back once you get back inside it it's like game to bottom gun and go down the other side of the consolidation and that's that's pretty that intense is. stay right there folks tommy and i are coming right back our phone number is 877-927-6648 we have the uh, markets uh basically almost flat out here come right back has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you now is the perfect time to open up an account with nadex Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 29. Nasdaq's flat. S&P's are up three. Let's go over to Gail Mercer from the uh, Traders Help Desk. Gail's on with us each and every Tuesday, folks, at 40 past the hour. And the last time we had her on, man, we were talking about the Canadian dollar. That thing rocked and rolled. We got some action. First it went down, then it went through the roof. Pretty amazing. Gail, wel welcome back to TFNN. Hi. Morning, Gail. You. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Well, I got to tell you, I want to start with that Canadian dollar because, you know, one of the reasons that we all like Nadex is that you get to find risk. When that first come out, uh, bottom line is that uh, it was, it was on, the, on the wrong side of what you were thinking, and then just give it about a half hour, right? And then it went through the moon, didn't it? <laughs> that, yes, it did. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Well, it, it, if you're watching divergences, a lot of times that's what happens. You know, you think, oh, gosh, I'm wrong. Yeah. But, you know, it also highlights the importance of trading with Nadex because if you'd had a two-hour binary on that, it didn't matter that it went against you. Eventually, it went in your direction. I know. What Listen, in trading, you got to, you know, you, you got to know you're going to be wrong quite a bit. Do you know what I mean? But that that was absolutely yeah. amazing. There's there's no doubt. I looked at it. I says, you got to be kidding. That you don't see what moves like that. That both ways. I know. Both ways. Pretty amazing. Yeah, that was uh, the last. Well, this is the fourth time now. During the rate announcement, it has moved over a hundred pips each time. Yeah, and man. that's significant. And you, you, uh, you just when we were walking through it, I believe you were looking just for 40. All you needed is 40 ticks, and we were going to be all right, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Cool. No, right. As long as it moved 40 ticks, you were fine, and Sweet. it actually moved 100. Yeah. So, uh, what are we looking at this week? I know. I, I believe we got a couple charts up. We get the Aussie dollar. That's yeah. What, that's what we have. That's correct? important for me. <laughs> we we invest in like uh, gold mines in Australia, so I got to know where that dollar is <laughs> going. Let's go with that. Sure, we're gonna go with it. I do. Yeah. Well, the okay, Aussie yeah. does Vist, really Vista Gold. I thought you were talking about you invest in. No, okay. Vista Gold is that's, sure, that's where sure. the biggest gold mine is. Sure, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I got you. they are. Yeah. Um, uh, they're actually one of the biggest uh, mining exporters. That's where most of their GDP comes from. Yeah, it's mining right. and. So if you see gold going up, well, the Aussie's going to go up. If gold goes down, the Aussie's going to go down. And a lot of times you can actually see it in the Aussie before you see it in gold. Yes. So you know, because people uh, know this is what's going to happen. Right. So right now we're looking at your chart. If you can explain this chart, Gail, that would be awesome. Well, you know, the one problem that a lot of new traders especially have with divergences is that it can be a false divergence. Well, divergence also can help you identify the bull and the bear traps, especially if you're just learning to read volume. Okay. Divergence is an excellent way to actually start spotting these bear and bull traps. And all you have to do, 
you don't actually enter off the first divergence. You let it come back and test the divergent area. And you can see on this chart, you know, each one had a test. If it was a test, there's a check mark on it. Okay, and I see. And yeah. if you did not have a test with a reversal bar, then it has an X on it. So you can see really the only two that would have lost money are the ones you shouldn't have been in anyway. Yeah, so what you're looking for, you're looking for basically a swing point first. You're looking for a, a, a mm -hmm. trend, counter, well, a trend uh, off of that, come back mm -hmm. and up to the top. Then you're looking for a candlestick charting um, signal. Now, is this, a, I know we're looking at a daily, right? Is this on a, a daily? I think like, it's an hourly. We're oh, an hourly, okay. Yeah, it's so an, is that a, is a 60 that a, minute. Is that, that's a 60 minute, and is that a 60 minute on 10 minute bars, or what, how, how much are those bars? Uh, 60 minutes. 60, oh, there's 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, I got it. Okay, nice. 60 minutes. Yeah. Right. Nice. So these are really nice ones to do like dailies. Yep. Um, if you wanted to do a daily binary option. Okay. You can, uh, some of them you could even do a weekly binary option on. Yeah. I like is, to do my weeklies like on Wednesday when you got time decay working in your favor. Okay. Nice. And that's what I was just going to mention then on the same that when I was jumping in here taking a look at the Aussie dollar and the Nadex platform prior, um, I had to remember that they have those weeklies on the binaries in yeah. there because I know they have them on the bitcoin of course yes um, right. but it is nice having that exposure whether it's you know you have powell out there talking today i'm oh, sure yeah. we could have some some dollar action across multiple currencies and um mm -hmm. and that yeah clicking on the weekly i mean you have a plethora of options available and this is you know this is the Look chart that i pulled up yeah. right here and what's nice is you can download the demo and you can see i like how they put these strike prices visually on the chart because you can get a feel for okay this only needs to trade back up to where it was at monday right and look at i mean the bid offer on some of those and these are again the weekly that is pretty amazing yeah. right you know you have three yeah, days. all of the weeklies have a strike width of 50 pips okay I believe. so yes. it's pretty easy for it to move 50 pips on a good week yep you know and if you wait until wednesday you know, you've got time for Monday and Tuesday for the trades to set up, but then you also have time decay because there's only two days left in that weekly. Right. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. You get both of them yeah. hopefully working spot. for you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's exactly right. So tell now, us a little bit about, I know you're going to be doing a workshop over in the Nadex um, uh, site, and folks, you can get information on that by coming right to our site and going to Nadex Educational uh, Webinars. Uh, right. Tomorrow I'm going to be discussing the bull and the bear traps. Okay. And we'll be looking at ways to spot it with divergence and with volume analysis as well. Nice. So nice. that's at 12 noon Eastern time, and that'll mm -hmm. be an hour long, and they can sign up right at that link, and it's free completely, just your name and your email address, and uh, how to identify when sellers are actually controlling the high and when buyers are, right, let's finish it, are actually controlling the low. Lots of good stuff in there. And yes. Gail, the why did you focus on the Aussie dollar like this week? Um, mainly because the Aussie tends to do divergences really well. Interesting. Okay, cool. You know, yeah. really that was the only reason. They right. do have uh, a market report. I believe it's tomorrow night and I always trade it. It's their employment claims. Okay. Nice. And that one generally moves about forty pips. Okay. Which is ten strikes on the Aussie. Right, that's nice. a lot. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. It's pretty. I, I like the idea that you know you don't, you you know Australia is a huge economy. There's no doubt about that, and that economy is basically they need China. <laughs> you know, yes, that's the China is that's where they're getting all these commodities from. China's sure. coming in there big, so I can see why there's volatility over there. You know, not, yeah, not, and especially with all the trade wars we have going on right now. Yes. Um, yes. I think they're going to be, China is going to be reaching out to more countries and doing more business with other countries. Yeah, so. diversifying right. themselves a mm -hmm. little bit. Oh. Just, yeah. I think we're going to be surprised how much they already own of a lot of these. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. You know, there's, Definitely. There's, there's, there's no doubt about it. That's correct. So, you know, the, we had the Canadian dollar uh, last week. We got, the, you know, with Powell speaking today, it's going to be interesting uh, even in the next couple hours, I guess, with our own dollar and the euro, right? Yes, and don't forget they were having a vote on the British pound today. Oh, really? Um, yes, regarding the pre-exit trade. Oh. And remember, Mays lost a deal yesterday, and the British pound has crashed off of that. Okay. Um, 
so they're waiting now on the second vote. I believe they're still waiting on it, but it really looks like it's actually going to go up off of that vote. Okay, cool. Always uh, something exciting yeah, going on over there. Yeah, no doubt. Listen, Always. folks, it's the uh, Traders Help Desk, uh, Gail Mercer. Uh, you can check it out right at the TradersHelpDesk.com. Gail, thank you so much. Uh, oh, thanks great, to both of you also. Great segment. Uh, we look forward uh, to that webinar tomorrow. All right, thank you, and you have a wonderful day. You, you too, too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye Stay bye. right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Aerobics Cube offers more than 100 million starting positions, resulting in 43 billion potential twists and turns. Yet this puzzle can be solved in 20 moves. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, and knowing the right move makes all the difference in the world. And on Thursday, July 19th at 4.15 p.m., I'll share with you the three essential tools behind my number one ranking by Timer Digest for the S&P 500. This 30-minute event is being hosted by Ninja Trader, and it's open to everyone in our listening audience. At this event, I'll share with you the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal that subscribers not I use to identify tops and bottoms, as well as Stevie's red line and the market profiles that I use. The sign-up link is on the homepage of TFNN.com and requires nothing more than your name and email address. To help celebrate my number one market timing ranking, we're making Mastering Probability available to anyone in our listening audience for the next 30 days with a free money-back guarantee, whether you've subscribed in the past or not. Make your move now by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com and sign up for Thursday's workshop, as well as my free newsletter trial offer. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down 15. Nasdaq's up four. S&Ps are up five and a half. And our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, folks, he's going to be doing a workshop. When we talk about workshops, he's going to be doing a workshop uh, Thursday. We've got um, lots of free workshops, man. Yeah. This one as well. Free to right. sign up. Just your email address. So Steve, working with people over at Ninja Trader, they're going to be hosting a free event Thursday at your show. He's going to steal a few viewers, but that's okay. Yeah. And um, they can go over there, sign up. And so just not to be confusing, here is the link here right on the front page that you will go over to the Ninja Trader um, site. And this is, they're hosting it, so you wouldn't log into TFNN to attend this webinar. They just send you a link. I signed up for it myself. That yeah. way I can check it out. Um, they just send you a link via email. You're okay. all set. Name and email address. And that'll be Thursday night at 4.15. And he's going to be talking about three essential tools that he uses for the S&P 500 and for gold. And then on top of that, you know, to celebrate, and I was just chatting with Steve on the phone this morning, and uh, they came out with kind of their semi-annual, the Timer Digest did there. It's 
he I was saw ranked number one as yeah. well, so he's excited and he should be. And so you can get a 30-day money-back guarantee to Mastering Probability, even if you've done it before. So okay. normally it's like one time, you know, because yeah. it's meant to give it to new people, try it out, see right. what it's like. But if you've ever tried it before, you're welcome to come back in, 30-day money-back guarantee. You gain access to a couple great workshops Steve's done, 60-minute long short line every trader needs to know about, his money management workshop, lots of good value there as well. So I encourage you to check out both of them Thursday evening, and then, of course, you can sign up. And this special goes until Thursday right. as well. To and, take you know, the newsletter, folks, the 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have zero to lose. Right. Check it out right in the front page of TFNN. And last poker news. So yeah, we got, uh, and so Steve and I, we couldn't help but talk about the main event a little bit because yeah. I knew he was watching it. And then main event's over. Ah, uh, it's a quick one. But they got a million-dollar tournament going on out there that's going to finish up today. Justin Bonomo having quite a year for himself, and he is in the lead with 48.9 million chips. And the winner, they're right on the bubble, too. Six people left. Six gets nothing. Five gets two million up to ten. Oh. Yeah, that's some pressure. Baby. Unreal. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming up next. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.